All right, hello fourth grade. This is our fifth day of our video lesson. And before we get started with our math, I actually wish just wanna go over some very important things uh, to take care of that I need to talk about. All right, starting on Monday of next week, when you come back um, or when you, log on, when you log back in, we're gonna be doing exit tickets every day, okay? So for every video, this is, our vid this is the video that I posted yesterday. In the description here is where you can find an exit ticket or a quiz if we're going to take a quiz that day please complete the exit tickets okay that's how i am going to start taking attendance if you complete the exit ticket for the day you're going to be marked as present if you do not mark if you do not complete the exit ticket you're going to be marked absent okay this is a reminder for you for parents and students that grades are going to be due in two weeks okay and um, that's how we're gonna be taking attendance from now on, or how I will gonna how I will be taking attendance from now on. Um, you will have today. You're gonna be taking a math quiz, okay? And I'm gonna put the link for the Google form here in the description video, okay? For today's video. So here's how it's gonna look. Um, for example, this is the fifth grade math quiz. You're gonna click on it and it'll take you uh, here. Again, it's fifth grade, but don't worry, I have the fourth grade one. You're gonna submit it, and then that's it, okay? Again, grades are gonna be due, or grades are due in two weeks. If you do not complete this math quiz by today, I will not accept it, okay? This is, here we go, this is the fourth grade one. This is your math quiz. If this is, does not get done by today, I will put in a zero for you, okay? And you will get a zero in the grade book. So please be sure, it's only five questions, please be sure that you are filling these out as well as your exit tickets, okay? For yesterday's exit ticket, I only got 12 responses and thank you to those students who actually did respond, okay? These exit tickets are not gonna be marked. Um, that's how I'm gonna be taking attendance. So parents, please be sure that your um, children are filling uh, these Google Forms out if there is a link, okay? Again, this is the video. The link is right here at the bottom for them, okay? So starting on Monday, please be sure that you're filling out exit tickets. Exit tickets are gonna be giving out daily, and then that's how I know um, that you watched the video or not, okay? Um, you will have also a science test today, okay? For um, the Mount, oh, this is social studies, but you're gonna be having a um science test and a social studies test today so again let me all show you how you log in if my name is bob and my last name is builder then my username will be b builder three two three my password is gonna be the month I was born in. So if I was born in March, then it's gonna be capital M, March, okay? When you type this in, it has to be all um, close to one another. There is no space, exactly how you see it here. So if your name is Angel Yanes and it's A-Y-N-E-S, 323, and then the first letter of the birth month has to be capitalized, okay? Otherwise it will not work. So for example, this student's name was um, this student was born in March, so it's capital M for March, okay? So you will have, or you do have a science test today. And as you can see, um, it is for competition and adaptation. So it's going to be a test for this one, okay? As soon as I post a video, I am going to make the test available, all right? And then so you're gonna click on it and you're gonna complete the test and then that's it. The same thing for your social studies, okay? So you're gonna go to fourth grade social studies and then you are gonna go to week eight for Californian Indians in the mountain. And as you can see, you can start taking the test already, week eight take it these are your questions fill it out and then please be sure to click finish okay and then that is it all right so again very important things i will say it again on the youtube description starting on monday 
I'm gonna put out daily exit tickets. If you complete them, I'm gonna mark you as present. If you do not complete them, I'm gonna mark you as absent, okay? You have a fourth grade math quiz today. All right, please complete it. If it is not completed by today, I will put in a zero and you're gonna get a zero out of five and then your grade will go down. It is the 20th. Once it is the 21st, I will not accept it, okay? So you can complete it today um, at five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, as long as it is still the 20th. What is Once it is the 21st, I will not accept it anymore and you will get a zero, all right? So again, thank you to those students who completed the exit tickets. Um, starting on Monday, please be sure that you are completing any link that I sent, okay? And in, in, this, in these videos, I will tell you when to complete a uh, quiz or not, all right? So let's move on to our math. This is your warm-up. Two questions. Go ahead and uh, pause the video and complete it. All right, so hopefully you pause the video. Um, I'm going to do number one here, a perpendicular line. And one of you did ask also if we can have more, if I can explain the perpendicular lines more. And for sure, I will. So let me get out my ruler. Remember, perpendicular lines, they form right angles, okay? For example, this right here is a right angle. That is a perpendicular line. Let's just uh, name it A, B, C, and then that's it, okay? What would the name of this angle be? It'll be angle A, B, C, or angle C, B, a okay both of these are correct a b c or c b e all right um and again anytime you see a right angle it's a good idea just to put a small box in there and that's how you know it is a right angle um what about what about something like this this is line or line segment a b line segment CD okay are these lines perpendicular yeah absolutely look line segment AB forms a perfect right angle with CD and remember if it's perpendicular we put an upside down T so line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment CD, okay? Because when they cross right here in the middle, you get a perfect right angle, okay? And actually, I shouldn't have drawn a circle. I should have drawn a square. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect right angles. A perfect right angle here, a perfect right angle here, and a perfect right angle here, and a perfect right angle right there, all right? So anywhere two lines form a perfect right angle, a perfect cross, um, or a perfect 90 degrees, that is a perpendicular line, all right? So that's number one. Let's uh, do number two. We have to draw parallel lines. Now parallel lines, I feel like they're a lot easier to understand, right? They're simply two lines that, that never meet. Two lines that never meet. So for example, that one and that one. As you can tell, both of these lines, let me call them A, B, C, D, these line segments, they're never gonna meet, right? Line AB, line segment AB is parallel to line segment CD they will never, never meet, okay? Uh, and again, you put two lines in the middle, that's how you know that they are parallel, all right? And that's it. 
And so today is a quiz day, a test day. So that is, that's it. Um, in the description for the video, you can go ahead and click on it. And then you're going to be able to take your, uh, your math quiz today. All right. This is what it's called. Fourth math lines and angles quizzes. All right. Um, what you can do if you want to is you can go ahead before you take the quiz, go ahead and watch the videos um, of this week. And that way you are prepared for the quiz. Or if you think you're prepared now, go ahead and just click on the link and take it right away. OK. Also, please be sure that you are um, clicking on your correct name. If you do not click on your correct name, you will not get the credit for it. Okay, so please double check that it is in fact you. All right, and that's it for our math. Again, if you if you see our schedule, you will see that's all we're doing today. Test, 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 okay? For science, I'm going to activate your science quiz so you can go ahead and log into your science weekly, to your studies weekly, I mean, and go ahead and take your um, test. It is actually... Let me just show you what um, what week it is. We are going to be taking week four of life science, this one. This one, okay? Now, there was quite a few of you, and actually I'm going to... There was quite a few of you who I allowed you to retake your science, your last science test, the ecosystems one. Um, please go ahead and do so. Um, that way your grade can improve. Also, for today's test, for week four of competition and adaptation, go ahead and use your notes. I am going to allow it. Go ahead and use your notes to take your test, all right? Take your time. Uh, read through it. Please answer these questions as well. You get points from. doesn't matter if they're right or wrong, but um, just be, be sure that you are answering them, okay? All right, and then that is it for your science. You have your social studies test as well. It is this one. It is week eight, California Indians in the mountain, and that one is activated already, so you can go ahead and take it right, right now. And then that is it for your social studies, and then for religion. For religion, we are on Friday. It is activity on page 149. Your objective is students will be able to explore ways to lead lives that reflect God's goodness. Okay, a very good chapter, a very interesting chapter. Please be sure that you are um, taking your time to read this. Don't just do your activity right away. Actually take the time to read the whole, um, the whole passage before you finish the activity, okay? You have plenty of time. You have plenty of time to read the passage, all right? And that is it. Parents, again, please be sure that your students are filling out any link that I post on our YouTube. You can find it here. The good thing about Google Forms is, to my knowledge, you can definitely um, fill these Google Forms out even on your phone. Okay? And that is it for today. Students, um, you can go ahead and log off right now. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to explain really quick what we're going to be doing next week. All right? But... Um, you can go ahead and uh, log off right now. This is just extra information. Uh, mostly for parents. Parents, I am going to start having um, office hours um, through this website here called Zoom. It is free, all right? The good thing about this one is that students do not need an email. They don't need anything. All they need is a, um, a laptop, a device. And so here's how it's going to work. Um, I'm going to sign into mine. Type in my password. And again, uh, this is extra information as of right now. Um, students, if you want to, you can go ahead and log off. If not, you can keep watching this. I will repeat it next week either way. All right. So for me as a teacher, I am going to host a, a, vid a meeting. Again, the website's called uh, Zoom, but either way here, it's going to work. So I am going to post a, on the Remind app, uh, I am going to copy a link. So on the Remind app, 
right here let me I'm sorry let me log this out okay on the remind app I'm gonna put a link and it's gonna probably look like that all students need to do is all they need to do is click on it and it'll take them right to this meeting that I'm holding right here okay so again I am going to copy a link and it should say zoom.us and with all this whole things afterwards all students need to do is just click on it and it'll take them to me and then that way I can see them they can see me and any questions they might have about any lessons they, they're free to um talk to me about it um i'm still trying to figure out what hours will work best for families but um yeah this is just extra way an extra uh, method that students and parents as well you can come and you can click on it as well you can talk to me if you have any questions about the assignments and again it's free um so that's pretty cool um but i will explain more into detail um next week on monday parents please be sure that your children are filling out the um Google Forms and the Google Quizzes because it, it will be part of their grades and grades will be released in two weeks. Okay, so please be sure that they're filling that out. And, um, and that's it. Any other questions, please be sure to uh, message me. Have a great day.